bunnies, welcome back. Today we're making these easy, super classic and delicious gingerbread cookies. I'm gonna show you how to make the cookie dough as well as the royal icing. So let's get started. So first we are going to be making the dough. So we have two cups or 240 grams of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons or four and a half grams of ground ginger, one teaspoon or two and a half grams of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon or one gram of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon or half a gram of ground clove. Then on top of that, because we're not finished yet, we are adding a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon or 1.5 grams of salt. So just mix that all together and set that aside. Then we're going to take half a cup or 113 grams of unsalted butter and a third of a cup or 71 grams of brown sugar and pop that into a bowl and beat it with an electric mixer until it's smooth. Then on top of that, we're adding a third of a cup or 113 grams of molasses or treacle, but edible treacle, not this kind of treacle. Ah! She does not want to be here, look at that face. Okay. And we're also going to add one egg and mix until combined. Then add the dry ingredients and mix until the flour is just incorporated. Then wrap the dough in plastic wrap and chill it in the fridge until it's firm for about one hour. So what chilling the dough, the dough does is it'll make it so much easier to roll out because if the dough is super soft, the cookies aren't gonna stay a nice shape when you're taking them off your work surface onto your baking sheet. They might kind of stretch and deform. So having chilled dough makes it so that they stay nice and the way that you want them to look. So then we're gonna roll our chilled dough out on a floured surface until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. So I like thick cookies, so these are probably around a quarter of an inch instead of an eighth, I think, yes. But um, it's totally up to you. Then use any cookie cutter that you like to cut out your cookies, and if you can never escape work like me, you can make your logo out of the cookie. And if you like these cookies to hang on your tree, what you can do is at this point, once we've transferred the cookies to our baking sheet that we've lined with parchment paper, use, I found like chopsticks work the best. Just puncture a hole and insert it and twist it as you're pushing down and that will create a nice little hole in the cookie. And then we are going to bake these cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes until the edges just begin to darken. And then once the cookies have finally cooled, now we are going to make our royal icing. This isn't as much of a pain as you think it is. So we're going to take half a pound or two cups or 227 grams of icing sugar or confectioner sugar, put that into a bowl, and then we're going to use meringue powder. So meringue powder is a really great substitute for egg whites, which is what royal icing is traditionally used for. I think, I might be wrong, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is the better option if you are pregnant because you know, you're not eating raw eggs. It smells like baked meringues, but it's very, very powdery, so don't sniff it because you're gonna get it in your nose. So we are going to add two and a half tablespoons or 26 grams of a meringue powder. Give that a little mix. And then I'm gonna add a scant quarter cup or 55 mils of water. You can see that when I added the water, it looked a little dry. So before I started whipping it, which is our next step, I added a couple more tablespoons of water. Excuse me. What are you doing down there? And then you're gonna take your hand mixer, or you can use a stand mixer for this, and you wanna beat it on high speed for seven minutes. So yes, set a timer, go for seven minutes, and at the end of the seven minutes, it's going to look like this. Look at that little wave, how satisfying. You can also add some vanilla extract if you would like. Just add a couple of drops, and you might need to beat it for maybe another 30 seconds just because we're adding a little bit more liquid. But just keep an eye out and you just make sure that it looks like this after you're finished. And then we're going to pop it into a piping bag fitted with a number two piping tip. And sometimes when you're piping, you use like a little coupler to stick the piping tip onto the bag. You don't need to do that here, just like throw in the bag and then just trim the end with scissors. And now this is the fun part. We are going to pipe our royal icing onto our cookies. So if you are new to piping royal icing, what you wanna do is have start and stop points when you're piping, and then in between, you're just going to kind of drag or pull the icing. That's how you're gonna get those smooth, clean lines. If you'd like a video on just like piping basics, let me know in the comments and I can do that for you.
So if you're still wondering like, where is this hack if we don't want to use royal icing? Well, what you want to do is get those cookie cutters that are kind of like the stamp kind. I'll link some down below. And when you're rolling out your cookie dough, just use those instead. You can see the technique, press it like a normal cookie cutter, push that little, the little spring, and then lift it up and then push the spring again to release the cookie and it will create the most beautiful cookies that already have a design within them. These are slightly smaller than the other ones that I baked, so I baked these for eight minutes. And then instead of using royal icing, you can get still some of that icing sugar in the powdered form and just gently dust it on top. It looks so pretty and it looks so festive and you're gonna save yourself some piping and some effort. Now, if you are a fan of gingerbread cookies and prefer soft cookies instead, I have a molasses cookie recipe that is so good. It's better than Starbucks. And if you wanna be that family member that like looks like you have your life together and it's like, look, I made two options. Like, I am that amazing. <laughs> that would be me, except, you know, like I'm baking all the time. So I'm always the kind of person who shows up to holidays and serves my family this. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next Friday for a new video.